Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I'll show you how you can format the DAX code. So whenever we are writing a very long DAX code, it becomes unreadable if we are not formatting it. So in this video, I want to show you a very quick way of how you can format the um, format the DAX code. So with that, uh, just before I show you quick information that uh, this sheet which we are showing here where I am keeping a record of my all Power BI tutorial videos with that title and with the link so that you can come over here and search any of the tutorial of based on your need and jump to the tutorial based on the link that is present in column B and this live Google sheet link is present in the description so you can access it easily. Also, um, if uh, oh, since it is um, live sheet, all of my future videos will be updated here. So whenever you have a need to find any particular video or you want to create your own learning plan based on my videos, you can create it using this sheet or you can keep it as a bookmark. So whenever you need any specific solution and you can search here um, for, for those tutorials. With that, uh, let me go to the Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI and uh, this is the code that we have. As you can see, we are using this one function, then another function, the argument in the function and then another function inside that after some conditions and uh, another function. So it becomes, you know, really difficult to read it. Uh, let's say if you are looking your own code after three months or six months, right? So the way ideally you should do this is basically create uh, all of this code in, into multiple lines. So the way I will do this is by shift pressing the shift enter over here. Then I will just keep the orders, but I keep the second argument over here. And then I will keep the ampersand and I will keep the third argument over here. And then I will just close the filter here. Then another this one here and I will just press the tab. So that's one way how you can basically format the code manually if uh, uh, based on some, some of the standard practices or some of the ways uh, which at least uh, I follow uh, for formatting my code so that I keep all of my function into different rows so that I can read it. Okay, after count rows, I'm using filters in that my table is this, my first condition is this and my second condition is this. Think about this if you have like four conditions or five conditions, your code becomes completely unreadable. But in this way, you can very clearly understand this. So that's one way uh, how you can do that. But if I just press put it in a original condition, you know, where we had this uh, everything in the one line. So I want to show you another very quick and easy way by which you can format your code. So suppose this is your code, you copy this entirely, come over here and here type this website dex formatter. If you see over here dex formatter.com. So over here this dex formatter is the website which is from the uh, SQL BI, another in very, very, very uh, technical and advanced block for the Power BI. So you can come over here. As you can see, I just clicked it and I paste my code over here and I click format. So once I click the format, my DEX code is now formatted as per the DEX standards, right? So what they have done is down there, if you see, you have these uh, creators of this website where you can get some intro of, uh, of DEX formatter. If you want to go a little bit more in advance, more in depth. But all in all, what you can do is copy here, copy your code, come here and click it. Simply after that, you can copy this, right? Or copy HTML, copy, save as docx, so on and so forth. And uh, you come here in the Power BI and you can paste it, right? So that way you can see your code is, even what I showed you earlier, it is slightly more uh, formatted or better formatted than what manually I did. So in, when you are doing manually, you may or may not follow these particular text standards uh, to format the code. But in this case, this website, what I find it very helpful. So I wanted to make sure that I share with you um, so that you know 
how to format easily format your code without much of a manual thing. So for a couple of lines it is fine but if your number of lines is let's say 8 lines, 10 lines or even 15 lines who knows right. So you can then format your code very easily. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.